It may have those ugly horizontal flywheels, but it's also the best brush flywheel blaster in the game right now. audience, I'm Boomstick, and today we're going to be looking at the MP5 Griffin. Now, the MP5 Griffin was designed by one of my local Maryland Nerf Herder players, UPW Design. He actually printed and built this blaster, and he's just letting me borrow it for the meantime for this review, so I can show all of you why this is so cool. Now, obviously, let's go over the basics. It is a 3D printed flywheel blaster using Krakens going into Blade 180s on Pulsar wheels. It takes Talon mags, obviously firing half darts with a solenoid pusher and an Arduino along the top, which allows us to use select fire with this handy uh, little light here that changes color depending on uh, what you're firing. The MP5 has three notches, green for a semi-auto, blue for a two round burst and a pinkish purple for full auto. Now there's nothing to stop the notch from flipping all the way to one side, so keep that in mind if you're building this, that you can flip it too far. And if you're in a situation where you don't want to use the LEDs either for battery purposes or if you're trying to be stealthy in HVZ, there's a neat little button on the bottom to turn them off with. The charging handle on the side does actually do something. There's a little button on the inside for when you pull the charging handle back, it actually pushes the solenoid forward. It does have an adjustable stock that has three different settings. I personally like the longest setting, however my wire for my LiPo wasn't long enough to actually connect into the back, uh, which leads me to my other thing I don't like, which is the exposed wires on the back. I personally don't care for exposed wires, but this way of plugging in the battery is convenient if you don't mind the exposed wires. UPW Design remixed the files from the Solenoid Griffin by Flygonial, and I'll have both the MP5 and the Solenoid Griffin linked down in the description below, just in case you want to build either one of those. Now, while I didn't build this blaster myself, I can talk a little bit about assembly because I know quite a few people who have, and I obviously spoke to the creator of this one. Now, if you talk to anybody who deals with Arduinos, they'll tell you that they're not that hard. I personally haven't dabbled in them, however, I would really like to. So if you're comfortable learning or if you already know about Arduinos, then this shouldn't be a problem for you. Solenoids are also not a big deal for uh, wiring up and everything. The Griffin overall, much like any other Griffin design, it's a lot of screws. So it's that is one complaint about the assembly process is the amount of screws that you have to deal with. But that's what you get when you have a blaster that's so modular, as they say. The amount of things that you can do with a griffin are quite crazy. One neat thing that I definitely like about this griffin is there's a little fan on the bottom helping to keep these flywheels cool. Because I know, especially when you're running a dual stage, sometimes it can get a pretty hot on the inside. UPW Design modeled this after an MP5 and he designed it specifically to deal with the Foxfires and Hummingbirds that are somewhat common on the Maryland Nerf Herder field, so he wanted to build something that he could compete with against those other builds. I guess without building one of those himself. Although I will admit, this does look better than a uh, Foxfire. As far as comfort goes, I'd say it's okay. Uh, my hand doesn't really have a great space to hold. I usually put it here, but then it's resting right on top of the fan, so it ends up more up here. So I'm not exactly sure where to put my hand just based on how I usually play. Uh, just because I like to usually hold it right about here and it's not quite comfortable with the fan blowing on me. And the grip is somewhat thin. I don't find it super comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable to hold. It's just a little thin. UPW Design did actually put this little piece of uh, putty right here for the uh, thumb to rest on, which was a little odd, but it is quite comfortable. So that I do like that choice. But I think that's enough talk. Uh, let's go out into the field because... Uh, you're going to want to see this. Firing the MP5 was lovely. 
you get a good feel of the blaster for every shot because of that nice clicky solenoid and I was getting nice 100, 110 foot shots. Accuracy is what really impressed me. I was hitting the target with most of my shots on semi-auto and I'm sure a nice two round burst would close in those gaps that I was having. It was a nice, pleasant surprise firing this blaster. This MP5 also had a really tight FPS grouping right in the 190s. Most shots getting exactly that 190 FPS. So as long as you're using fresh AF Pro darts, you can rely on this blaster to be consistent. So I don't know about you, but I was very pleasantly surprised with how well this performed. Getting ranges of 100 to 110 feet with 190 FPS and the accuracy on it for a flywheel blaster, it was amazing. The performance out of this is nothing short of extraordinary. And of all the flywheel blasters that I've used, I can safely say this is probably the best brushed flywheel blaster I've ever used. The main con to it is the amount of screws that it takes to build it and the technical know-how of dealing with Arduinos. But overall, I say build one or find someone that knows how to build one and get them to do it because this is an amazing blaster and I need to get one of my own because I really don't want to return this to its creator. Apologies for the abrupt ending. Apparently I forgot to film one, so we're going to do it this way. Just wanted to say thank you all for watching and a special thank you to all of my lovely patrons. Don't forget for the month of February, this is the sticker that we're doing for my uh, $10 a month patrons. But if you don't want to do Patreon, you can always like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the MP5 or the Griffin platform in general. And you can also hit that subscribe button and uh, see what I'm going to show off next. Until next time, I've been Boomstick and I'm out.